Department just releasing its first batch of emails from former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Hi, everyone. I'm Gretchen Carlson. Happy Friday to you. We're here to bring you the real story today. So, case right. for months and months to come. Well, part of the problem is that he set the house on fire after he allegedly killed these four people. So that could make getting some of the evidence. I'm going to show you. I'm taking control in this situation. I'm going to hold you. I'm going to torture. See what happens in court. David and Scott. Thank Growing frustration on Capitol Hill. White House accused of sticking to the same old narrative while ISIS marches forward in the Middle East. To the real story. So you're not supposed to do it when you drive, right? But commercial pilots will soon be allowed to text in the cockpit. It's part of a new program to help get passengers like you and me in the air faster. And the FAA says after two years of testing now, new flight clearance technology ready for takeoff. Hillary Clinton receiving Benghazi email on her private server that has bottom of the hour time for a quick look at the headlines cruise ship is back home in Boston after running aground on a reef in Bermuda 3,500 passengers and crew on board good thing you weren't there this week Liz right all right they were stuck for more than six hours before a rising tide pushed it into deeper water grand jury in Baltimore has indicted six police officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray well this allows the state's attorney to move ahead now with the case despite criticism that she may have overreached. And imagine springtime in Paris without the Eiffel Tower. Workers there walking out to protest a surge in pickpockets, shutting down one of the world's most popular tourist spots. The rhetorical sparks flying as John McCain calls Josh Ernest, the president's spokesperson, an idiot while discussing the gains of ISIS. Also, the White House reacts. So the Senate could vote any time now between today and tomorrow, holiday weekend. Two suspects under arrest in Los Angeles. Possible to tell you about because federal agents now have arrested two people in California. Terror-related charges, both men. So we asked you, what are you doing? On well, thank you so much for being part of The Real Story. You can find my take at foxnews.com slash The Real Story. It's easy to sign up now for that email. I'm Gretchen Carlson. Have a great Memorial Day weekend. Here's Harrison for Shep.